Investigation is underway after two men are found dead. This happened overnight in Madisonville. Local 12's Megan Moy. Megan Moore joins us live now from Madisonville with the very latest. Good, good afternoon, Megan. Uh, good afternoon, Adam, and we've learned uh, a lot more information since this morning. Uh, this is here on Adelphi Street, and what we've learned is that a father and son were shot and killed uh, in the home where they are investigating behind me here. Police have identified them as Michael and Matthew Myatt. Around 821, police say a uh, shots fired call came in, and then at 1247, a call came in uh, from someone at the house. We're told a relative found them, and that relative was uh, being interviewed at CIS this morning. We do not have any information on the shooter or the shooters at this time, but uh, police have been interviewing witnesses and are still on scene working to find out what led up to this. We did talk with uh, the neighbor who lives two houses down from the home where it happened. He said he heard shots ring out last night. I was upstairs and my wife is downstairs. She uh, we heard them, she yelled up, <clears throat> said that she heard gunshots. I just kind of reassured her that I, I did too, uh, but I wasn't sure where they came from. I asked her if she had any idea. We both uh, agreed that they seemed, seemed close, uh, but we, had, we weren't sure where. Uh, my wife thought they came down that street. And then um, my, the, my dog actually went into a seizure um, because I, I think it was my, my wife's reaction, kind of, uh, that she was a little scared. It scared her. Ryan said that he did walk outside uh, to see if there was anything suspicious going on. Again, he said he didn't know where the shots really came from. So eventually he and his wife went back to sleep and then woke up this morning to crime scene tape and then seeing that it was just two houses down from him where it happened. He did tell me that he knew uh, Matthew. Ryan's new to the neighborhood, but he said Matthew always made a point to say hi to him and uh, was all, always very kind. So again, police still trying to figure out who did this and really what led up to the shooting. Of course, as soon as we get any of that information, we'll bring that to you. For now, we're live here in Madisonville. Megan Moore, Local 12 News. Adam, I'll send it back to you. All right, Megan, thank you for that update. And you can find the latest information on this developing story at local12.com.